One thing about the English building is its location. It's centrally located, and even though it's a smaller building, almost everybody is going to take a class or has taken a class in, the, in that building during a certain time period. It's not so much the building, but the people. You tend to associate sometimes people with places. And so when I think of the English building, the old English building, I immediately think about those people who, uh, well, people who were my mentors, especially Mike in, in particular. You know, Mike, of course, um, was infamous for uh, being concerned about the education of students. And, uh, you know, since it's, you know, it's no wonder, uh, it wasn't surprising to me, in other words, that, you know, he had, uh, you know, provided uh, a great deal of funding for uh, scholarships, you know. I think Mike's concern about education and learning was um, more general than that and more foundational. Uh, Mr. Anseldua would oftentimes meet people outside the English building and have great discussions. And I had discussion with him outside the English building. So it seemed to be that that was his outdoor office, so to speak. And so I think this open plaza really reflects him. And then there's going to be inscriptions on different like seating areas and things to really reflect his philosophical point of view. And so I think it's a lovely concept where you know students, faculty, and staff can join together, have engaging conversation. I think that's really what he would have wanted. I remember, you know, Mike and I had our offices. We were neighbors in the building when I first started teaching, and um, he'd always have students come by, former students come by, uh, just to say hi or to thank him for having been a, a great teacher. And uh, I mean, this happened very often. Even after he passed away, like you could still feel his presence there in the English building. You know, I teach philosophy, and, uh, and you know, some people will, will understand this, but uh, you know, I kind of looked at uh, at Mike Anzaldúa as uh, you know, he was kind of our Socrates, you know, in in a positive way, you know, and, um, being our being our mentor in many ways, um, our gadfly, uh, and uh, you know, he's not somebody that that you can replace.